Welcome everyone, my name's Dom and I got a question for you. What if Apple made a TV? No, not the little, not the little box, like a TV TV, like a legit TV. Yeah, it, it probably costs about $18,000 million, but if they did, oh, that'd be one hell of a TV. Okay, so let's let's think about this, right? So Apple already makes the Apple TV, right? That little that little like puck thing, that black box, and you know you can you have all your apps on it, you can stream stuff, and it gives you notifications and all your other Apple things, and you have AirPlay and all other stuff like that, and that's all cool. I love the Apple TV. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful product. But with Apple and their their incredible screens on their phones, on their monitors, on their iMacs, every time they make a screen, it always comes out wonderful. So this is what I'm thinking. Imagine an actual TV, right? And not just, you know, not just a normal TV where you could do 4K, 4K would probably be more realistic. I think 8K might be a little too much. Like an Apple 8K TV when 8K TVs are already like extremely expensive is, is a goofy idea, but a standard 4K TV that is done with the Apple polish, Oh, that gets me excited. Let's think about it, right? Like you can, it has a camera in there, so you can take FaceTime calls. You can do regular audio calls. You can get your regular notifications. If they did some like really cool stuff where maybe like your Apple watch is on your wrist and you know, somehow the, 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 like the screen knows, you know, that you're in proximity to it. It can load up your particular profile, you know, or you can use your phone as a remote. And so it knows who's controlling it. So it knows when to switch to who, which I guess technically speaking, the Apple TV could already do that. Cause it is a little annoying. If you know what I'm talking about, Apple introduced like profiles and stuff and you could, you could switch between different people in your household and it'll load up, you know, like their viewing settings and what have you. Uh, and it doesn't always load up to the correct one. It doesn't give you the option to like select which person to log in as. But re regardless, you know, it does have a little pop up. Uh, but if you're not paying attention to that, or you turn it on with your voice or something like that, like it, it's it's not the best execution. But if, if you think about like like what Apple does when it comes to just not just like the functions and features, but all the little stuff, right? Like I would imagine that, you know, they're not going to pull any fast ones. Like all the ports are going to have HDMI 2.1, Atmos, HDR, 4K, like all of the features, not like HDMI port number one has all the features. And then like the last one only has like two of the features that are advertised. Like imagine a like perfect TV, no compromises, nothing giving up, all the features and software updates, right? Software updates. That would be that would be kind of like the the like the big thing for me is, you know, that they can continue to enhance it and continue to add more features. And knowing Apple, they would be the type who unlike Samsung where, you know, they may have a TV that could theoretically support a feature from from like a, a HDMI like from 2.0 to 2.1. Um, I have one of their their Q series TVs like a 2018 and according to at least the hardware spec and I messed around the service menu and stuff like that, like it says it has 2.1, but it's a whole thing. There's like a whole like Reddit on it. It, it. It's it's not important for this video, but I, what I would imagine is if let's say Apple could like design the TV in such a way that the hardware could support specific features in the future, they would just push an update and everyone's TV would get that update. And you wouldn't have to worry about uh, like the weird backend features to a lot of the smart TVs today where, you know, in their terms and agreements, like, I don't know if you know this, but in a lot of modern smart TVs, they actually have like content monitoring systems that like watch what you watch and then send it back and then they sell that data. That's something you can turn off in the settings of a lot of TVs, uh, including Samsung TVs, you know, privacy and stuff like that is a big concern, but like, I can just imagine, you know, also too, like then it hooks up like seamlessly to your home pods. Like it's a big TV, meaning it has plenty of room for processing power. And if Apple ever does get into gaming, like I talked about in my recent video, like they theoretically could put like a massive meaty chip in there, which would allow you to, you know, like play games right off of the thing, like not even need a console or a set top box. Like everything's wireless, couple home pods, the TV, and you have your controller, like the, the possibilities of such a thing are endless because it would almost be like a weird blend of an Apple TV, an iPad, and like a MacBook or an iMac. It's just, it's like, it's like in this weird, strange, like triangle type thing where you just have this unison of, of a really cool, really unique device. And I love the idea of being, you know, being able to get notifications on the screen, you know, and it could probably use like some kind of face ID to recognize your face. And like, if it sees somebody else, that's not in the family, you know, it wouldn't show the notifications. Like they, they, there's a lot of potential behind a device like that. The only fault flaw that I see is 
the, the price like let's let's face it that tv for for like a two inch television is going to cost you you know your your, your left leg like, it's just gonna it's i don't know why i put in my right leg that's my left leg but they probably take the right one too like realistically if they did do a tv like that and and it was fully featured and you know it was factory calibrated the colors were good um everything about it was like sharp and it just performed the way that we would expect something like that from apple to perform like i would imagine you have a few sizing options i would say like 55 65 and 75 maybe a 45 inch tv but we'll see like 55 kind of hits that sweet spot uh, sweet spot right uh, thin bezels all that stuff like that and if they all have the same internals and it's just a difference of size like a fair price i would imagine that the 55 would probably need to start at i mean realistically again this is an apple tv i know you can get 55 inch 4k tvs for a lot less but like what apple would probably charge i would guess like 1200 bucks to 1400 bucks for the 55 again astronomical for 55 inch 4k television but we're talking about just all the other stuff that you get the integration into the ecosystem would just be like really well executed and i'm sure apple could come up with like way more features than what i talked about in this video but it's an exciting concept and then if you go up to 65 let's say they add i don't know four or five six hundred bucks so let's say 65 is like 1800 and then a 75 is like 2500 or something right which you know it, it puts them in the competition range like it's not like a 55 inch tv would cost you know like four thousand dollars no one's ever gonna buy that well some people would some some people would for sure now mind you if they went even less than that hell yeah absolutely i think that'd be like a phenomenal way um to, to do that kind of thing and it would also be cool too like a little extra side note like if you wanted to have content you know broadcast to all of your different apple tvs and all your different devices like you could send let's say you have a party right and you have uh, a couple tvs and then you know you have a football game on or some kind of event you could just just beam it all and they all show the exact same thing at the exact same time like that's the kind of stuff that apple would do and i think that would be like a just a really really cool product to make so um you know if you guys like the idea definitely throw a comment down below um definitely throw a like on the video again this is the what if series you can check out there's a playlist it's new so you know there's gonna be more videos coming in and you know it's like again it's a it's a forum to kind of talk about different ideas um as you know like the, the should could would all that stuff right so if you have any ideas like that you know i want to hear about them so like i said throw it down in the comments below definitely be sure to subscribe and I'm doing the new thing. Please be sure to share. It helps the channel out a lot. The share button's down below. And uh, as always, talk to you soon.